Tomorrow marks the 139th running of what's lovingly known as the fastest two minutes in sports or the run for the roses, the Kentucky Derby. The Derby known as much for its off track happenings as for which horse wins, lots of hats, your sucker suits and of course mint juleps to drink all adding to the ambiance of the race. But this year's running has some on track reasons to watch as well and it's not just the horses. A pair of jockeys also stand to potentially make history tomorrow. Rose Napravnik will be riding my loot. That's a 15 to one shot to win. But if that happens, Napravnik would become the first woman to ever win the Derby as a jockey. Two years ago, the 25 year old recorded the best ever Derby finish by a female jockey. The other jockey to watch is Kevin Krieger. The 29 year old will be on Golden Sense. Golden Sense, one of the current favorites. If he can bring Golden Sense home, Krieger would become the first black jockey to win the Derby since 1902. He'll also be the first black jockey to run for the Roses in more than a decade. Compelling enough reasons to watch the Kentucky Derby on Saturday? The human interest stories, the, the mint juleps, the Dominic, that look in your face is they say, no, no, that's not compelling enough. I, I, I like the pageantry of it. I'm more of a Scotch guy than a bourbon, too much sugar, but uh, I'm, I'm all for gender equity and of course for civil rights, but because there's a horse running called Verrazano, because uh, of the New York connotations, that's where I'm putting my money. I tell you what, if you can get our director, Ralph, to watch it, then I'll well, watch wait, wait, it. Wait, 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 he just, he just gave me this bit of information. What if I told you that Rick Pitino was one of the owners of, uh, of Golden Sense? Is that enough to... I, 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 let's put it this way. I have my seer sucker ready to go. Uh, you, you guys have your seer sucker suits right, ready listen, to go? I'm, I'm glad this question didn't interfere with wow. the Kentucky Derby. Wow. <laughs> I'm happy that... I'm happy go New York, York, go New York, perhaps, go. Perhaps the we should, Knicks. Perhaps the we Knicks. Move. Knicks in one second, Dominic. <laughs> A belated honor and thank you today. More than 40 years later, Vietnam veteran Jim Smith receiving his Purple Heart Medal today at his home in Westchester County. Smith was caught and injured by a booby trap in Cambodia in 1970. And today, after two plus years of pressing the Defense Department for the honor, he received that medal. The medal, of course, honors those injured in military service. A friend of mine who was uh, a member of my veterans group lost his leg in the Aishaw Valley in Vietnam, stepped on a mine. And he had told me, he said, you know, Jim, you were wounded in action. You're entitled to a Purple Heart. And the Purple Heart doesn't say severely wounded, moderately wounded, or lightly wounded. It just says wounded in action. And he said, you should pursue it. He said, for all the other guys that were wounded, maybe didn't get their medal. Smith thanked his family in the office of Senator Chuck Schumer for helping him with the Defense Department's red tape. He told me that the honor means so much to him because of what it means and because of what it will continue to mean for his family. So thank you, congratulations, and, uh, and thank you for your service, Jim. And now, finally, there's a basketball game tonight, Dominic? There's a basketball game in about two minutes. Go New York, go New York, go Carmelo! <laughs> I think he said it all. He I said it all. I can't possibly add any more to that. So. Republican and Democrats love the Knicks. Yes, <laughs> we agree. We <We're> unite <laughs> under one flag. Michael, Dominic, Orange Richard, and green. thanks very much. Sure, why not go New York, go New York. How does it go? Go New York, go, go New York, New York go. go. We'll see you back here on Monday. <laughs> have a great weekend, everybody. We're going to go, go New York, York right now. So have a great weekend. <laughs>